So, meron tayong quantity a plus b to the power of n. So, if n is 0, ba a plus b to the power of 0, ito ay equals 1. So, what if a plus b to the power of 1, ito ay a plus b lang din. So, what if a plus b squared na to dito? So, ito, equal siya sa a plus b times a plus b pa. So, magiging a squared plus 2ab plus b squared to. So, FOIL method. So, what if a plus b to the power of 10? So, mahaba na siya. So, dito na ipapasok natin yung binomial theorem. For any positive integer n, quantity a plus b to the power of n is equal to summation of n choose i to i combinations. So, a to the power of n minus 1 times b to the power of i. So, ang i is equal to 0 papuntang n. So, mayroon tayong problem. Using binomial theorem, write the expanded form of quantity 2x minus 5y to the power of 7. Dito, sulat natin siya dun, yung sa summation, so binomial theorem natin. So, summation, i is equal to 0, papuntang 7, then 7, choose i. Ang a natin ay 2x, to yung a, to the power of 7 minus i, tapos yung b natin ay negative 5y, to the power of i. Expand natin. So, ang una is 0. So, 7 choose 0. So, 2x to the power of 7 minus 0. Then, negative 5y, 0. Ito yung first term natin. Plus, 7 choose 1. So, ito increasing tong i natin. 0, 1, 2. So, may pattern siya. Itong 7, always siya na ganyan, 7. Since ito yung exponent natin. So, 2x yung a. So, 7 minus 1. Then, negative 5y, 1. So, may pattern din tong b natin dito or itong negative 5y. 0, 1, 2. Ito naman, 7. Decreasing. 7, 6, 5. So, 7, choose 2. So, decreasing to, 2x. Since 6 to dito, 7 minus 1, ito 5 na lang. Then, times negative 5y, 1, so 2. Ito, siya din yan. So, mahaba siya. So, plus 7, choose 3. So, 2x, so 5 to, so 4 na dito. Or 7 minus 3. Then times negative 5y, to 2, so 3, so 3 din to. Tapos, plus 7, choose 4, 2x, so ang last natin is 4, so third na to. So negative 5y, 7, choose 5, times 2x, to the power of 2, then negative 5y, to the 5th power, then plus 7, choose 6, 2x, my 1 dito, tapos negative 5y to the 6, then last natin, 7, choose 7, 2x, 0 na to, then negative 5y to i7. Kompleto na natin, mahaba talaga siya pag ganito, binomial expansion binomial theorem. Itong 7 choose 0 tsaka ito, lahat to. The same lang din to dun sa constant dun sa Pascal triangle. Pag solve nito, combination siya eh. 7, combination of 0. So, the same lang din yun. Tsaka ito, pag sulat niya ay 7 factorial over 0 factorial 7 minus 0 factorial. Ganito siya. So, ang 7 choose 1 7 factorial over 1 factorial times 7 minus 1 factorial. So, ganito siya pag, pagkasulat niya. 
sa scientific calculator, meron na kaagad to, na ganito. So, ito, the same lang din to sa 1. Kasi, di ba, ito ay equal siya sa 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, dito, 0 factorial ay 1. Ito, 7 factorial lang din, kaya magka-cancel. So, 1 lang din to. Ito. So, ito naman, 7 factorial over 6 factorial. Magka-cancel yung 6 pababa, matitira 7 na lang. So, ang sagot dito ay 7. So, using calculator, pwede rin natin siya i-check sa calculator, no? Yun. Dito sa may divide, yun, NCR. Ito, may nakasulat siya. So, type mo siya, 7, tapos, shift, tapos itong divide. Yan, lalabas yung C, tapos 1. Yan, sagot niya ay 7. So, what if 7 choose 4? So, ito ay equivalent siya sa 7 factorial over 4 factorial times 7 minus 4 factorial. Ito ay 7C4. So, yan na natin dito. Yan, ang sagot niya ay 35. Pwede rin dun sa calculator, itong fraction form na to. Press mo yan. Tapos, 7. Tapos, meron dito itong factorial na to. Ito. Shift, tsaka ito. Yan, may exclamation point siya. So, 4 factorial times 3 factorial Kasi 7 minus 4. Sagot dyan ay 35. So, the same lang din sila. Ganito sa calculator. So, ito lang din yung constant dun sa Pascal's triangle. So, for form na natin to lahat. Ito tayo. 7 choose 0 ay 1. So, 2x to the power of 7. So, 2 to the 7 ay 128. So, 128 x to the 7 multiplied by to ito ay to the power of 0 so ibig sabihin 1 lang din to so times 1 itong 7 choose 1 yun na solve natin kanina ito so 7 times 2 to the power of 6 to ay 64 x to the 6 times negative 5y pa then plus itong 7 choose 2 ito Ito equivalent sa 21. So, times ito, 2 to the 5th ay 32. X to the 5th multiplied by negative 5 squared ay 25. Positive 25. Y squared na siya. Tapos, plus 7 choose 3. Siya ay 35. Times 2 to the 4th. 16. X to the 4th. Times to negative 125 y cube so mahaba talaga yung solution nito so plus 7 choose 4 yung nasagutan natin kanina ito 35 yung 7 choose 4 35 so 35 times to 2 cube 8 tapos x cube multiply mo siya ng negative 5 to the 4th y 625 y to the 4th plus 7 choose 5 7 choose 5 by 21 times to 2 squared 4x squared then ito negative 5 to the 5th to y negative 3125 y to the 5th plus 7 choose 6 to y 7 times 2x na lang yan kasi to the first power to then ito negative 5 to the power of 6 siya ay 15,625 y to the 6 positive kasi even number then last plus 1 to the power of 0 identity siya so 1 negative 5 to the power of 7 siya ay negative 78,125 y to the 7th yun, ang haba niya so may pattern dito, sa x natin pababa siya 7, 6, 5 4, 3 
So, y naman natin, increasing. Dito, from 0, 0 yung exponent mo dito. So, nagiging 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ganun lang siya. Perform natin to. Final answer natin dito ay 128 x to the 7th. So, ito, multiply natin to. Sagot dito ay minus 2240 x to the 6th y. Then plus 21 times 32 times 25. Ito ay 16,800 x to the 5th y squared. Then ito, 35 times 16 times negative 125. Ito ay minus 70,000 x to the 4th y cubed. Plus ito, 35 times 8 times 625. Ito ay 175,000 x cubed y to the 4th. Tapos ito, 21 times 4 times negative 3,125. So, minus 262,500 x squared y to the fifth. Then, to 7 times 2 times 15,625 plus to 218,750 x was y to the six. Then, last natin, to negative or minus 78,125 y to the 7 so ito na yung expanded na complete nya so mahaba sya so, ganun lang sya no yung binomial theorem so kailangan to ng ano uh, sipag talaga sipag sa pag solve kasi mahaba yung solution dito kapag in expand mo sya 